Hello friends, this is Shrikant and today we will be solving this problem of Sherlock and the Beast. So in this problem, we are given a number n, uh, which is the total number of digits in a number. And uh, we are asked to find uh, whether a decent number exists with these many digits. Okay, what is a decent number? A decent number has the following properties. Its digits can be only 3's and or 5's. The number of 3's it contains is divisible by 5 and the number of 5's it contains is divisible by 3. Okay. If there are more than one such number, we pick the largest one. So, uh, for uh, the number of digits is 11, we have the maximum is uh, number of 5's are 6 followed by number of 3's which is 5. Okay. Let's take one more example. Say the number of digits is 30. Okay. So, uh, we have to find all the possible combinations of number of 3's and 5's such that the number of 3's is divisible by 5 and the number of 5's is divisible by 3. Okay. So, uh, let's start from uh, 0 number of 3's and we will increment, uh, we will take the multiples of 5. Okay. And uh, the number of 5's will be the number of digits minus the number of 3's okay so we will start from 0 when the number of 3's is 0 the number of 5's will be 30 when the number of 3's is 5 number of 5's is 25 and so on and so forth so uh, now out of all these possible combinations we have to pick only those where the number of 5's is divisible by 3 so out of these only this uh, 30 is divisible by 3 and 15 is divisible by 3 okay so these two are the valid combinations that is number of 3 is 0 and number of 5 is 30 and number of 3 is 15 and number of 5 as uh, 15 and uh, this one also uh, number of 3 is as 30 and number of 5 is as 0 okay these three are the valid combinations okay so uh, we will try to approach this problem in a similar strategy what we will do is uh, the taking inputs is already given we will create a function we will first uh, create a vector of pair of inputs okay to uh, store the all possible combinations okay now we will pass this vector to a function get comps which will uh, give all the possible valid pairs of 3's uh, and 5's for a decent number okay. we will pass the, uh, this uh, array by reference sorry vector by reference and then num number of digits itself okay. now we will create this uh, function get forms uh, copy this simply and pass to n okay. now this should be a reference parameter so that uh, we store all the possible pairs in this okay. now will uh, since the number of digits is in n we have to find the number of 3's and number of 5's let, let us call them uh, as num of num of 5 equal to 0 equal to 0 okay. now uh, as we have already discussed we will start the counter by the number of 3's is equal to 0 and we will keep uh, get the next multiple of 3 by adding 5 to them okay. uh, so for uh, while and uh, we have to make sure that we only add to the uh, combinations when the number of 5's is divisible by 3 so what we will do is number of 5's 
is equal to n minus number of trees as we have already discussed now if num of 5 modulo 3 equal to equal to 0 then only we will add this as a valid combination ok so in the comps vector the first part of the pair will be the number of 5s and the second part will be number of 3s ok we will add in such a way dot push back number of pipes comma number of things okay and uh, what would be the uh, breaking conditions for, for this loop we have to make sure that uh, number of pipes uh, does not run into a negative value if number of pipes less than zero then we will break from the loop ok and at last we will increment the number of trees by 5 from multiple of 5 ok uh, this seems to be uh, this will make sure that uh, we will return the all possible number of combinations of number of trees and 5s in this comps vector ok so we will get this vector and then we have to basically print the uh, number of 5s followed by number of 3s since that will be the maximum number that can be found with these many 5s and 3s ok n i is the number of 5s that should be comps uh, dot first ok i plus plus There is one more thing that we have to do before printing this out. We have to get the, uh, we have to maximize the number of pipes basically to get the larger, as much large number as possible. For that, since we have got all possible combinations of pipes and threes, in of all these, this is the best solution in which the number of pipes is 30 and number of threes are zero. Okay. So to get this, uh, what we have done is, uh, in this array, uh, the combinations will be like 30 and 0, 15 and 15 and 15 comma 15 and 0 comma 30. So uh, if we use a library function called max element on these pairs, uh, we will get the maximum of these pairs. Max equal to star max element comes dot begin comma and this will give us the uh, this combination that is 0 13 and 0 ok now we, are, we have to find this only if the number of uh, if there exists uh, some valid combination if dot size is greater than 0 then only we have to uh, check for the maximum one and print it otherwise we have to print minus one as told in the question
for this problem. Let's try to run the test case, sample test case, and see if it works properly. We have missed the inclusion of error right for pairs that is there in utility header. Okay. Now let's try to run it again. Maximum dot first and maximum. See the max element uh, returns an iterator to the uh, maximum element. So to get the exact value, we have to dereference it, and put it in a maximum variable. Okay, and then we'll use the dot operator to get the. should work properly idea is to go, let you go through all this uh, errors also so that uh, when you encounter this errors you know how to uh, solve this ok so the sample test case is passed let's submit the code and see if all test case is passed so all the test cases have passed successfully Hope you liked the video. Uh, keep uh, subscribing for the channel uh, to get more videos on backup and solutions. Uh, do share the videos if you like. Thank you.